Hi, kitty cats. Today is July 1st, 2024, and Pride Month has officially ended. So this means we should put away all of our pride flags and quit being visible and just get back to our normal day-to-day -day discrimination against the LGBTQ community, right? No, come on. Pride Month exists to remind the world that the LGBTQ community contributes to making the world the way it is, and that we should recognize those who have been obscured by social expectations. In the same way, Women's History Month exists to remind the world women contribute to making the world the way it is, and that we should recognize those who have been obscured. And, of course, Black History Month exists to remind the world black people contribute to making the world the way it is, and we need to recognize those who have been obscured. So what's the pattern here? Social expectations obscure people whose contributions have been vital to modern human society. True leadership is marked by a desire to uplift those who accomplish the work. By pushing others out of the way to hog a spotlight, poor leaders ensure the best work will never be done. So Pride Month doesn't stop just because massive companies took the rainbow-colored logo off the website. Pinkwashing doesn't solve a problem. It highlights that we have, we have a problem to begin with. So I challenge our leaders to prioritize sharing the credit for our teams, our communities, our world. There is not an LGBTQ experience and then other experience. There is only a human experience. So, I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye!